The Bears be playing the San Francisco 49ers. San Francisco 49 a team that is not the team that went to the Super Bowl last year or has been dominating uh, these last couple years in the NFC. Um, they are going to be without Nick Bosa. They're going to be without Trent Williams. Brock Purdy will be playing, but he has been off and on, come back from the injury. Big opportunity for the Bears. The Bears are also dealing with their own injuries now. We've had DJ Moore and uh, Roshan Johnson and Elijah Hicks and Ryan Bates been out all week. DJ Moore did return to practice today in limited fashion. Him and uh, DeAndre Swift are both questionable. Ryan Bates is out. Elijah Hayes, Elijah Hicks is out as well. Now, I don't know the, the spread right now, but four days ago, it's Ryan like uh, a 5.5 favor. I'm pretty sure that changed. It's it opened, yeah. It opened after it opened after the game at six and a half after Thanksgiving game, and then it went down to four and a half after they got absolutely shellacked by the Bills. And right now it is uh shit, my phone. Yeah, the Bears are a three and a half point underdog. So it's a field goal. Basically, a, you know, a, yeah. Field goal game. I yep. said when we play, where's the win? Uh, and if you hear a dog in the background, once again, I apologize. That nigga got to beef <laughs> with the mailman. Ain't nothing I can do about that. Um, but uh, to me, this is a winnable game for the Bears. I When, when the season first came out, when the, when the schedule first came out, I said, this is a loss. Now, we were wrong a lot, about a lot. If you want to laugh, go back and watch. I'm not going to hold you. Bear schedule. It's like that was recorded in, in another universe. That was in another Marvel universe that we did that episode. But um, I think it's a winnable game. I said on uh, where's the win? They were going to get two more, and I still believe they're going to get two more. Um, I think that's going to start on Sunday. I think there's a new vibe. They have they could have won every game outside of the Arizona game, and I feel like new vibe. No, no, they know they ain't got an idiot calling plays, an idiot uh, telling them what to do. I think the defense more than anything. It's going to be rejuvenated to go out there. I'm really interested to see what Eric Washington's scheme is going to be like. Um, and I think this team is going to come out very, very aggressive. And I think there's an opportunity to pounce on the Niners right away. Also, no Christian McCaffrey. He's out for the season. Uh, now, they do have a good backup, but he's out for the rest of the season. And I really, really feel bad for him because it really sounds like he's going to start to heat up, uh, especially in that snow game against the Bills. So that's going to be big for them as well. And I think that the Bears, they're going to really – I think it's going to be a big passing game for Caleb because you got DeAndre Swift. So if he does play, he's not going to be 100%. Roshan is already out with a concussion. I think this might be one of the games where you see Caleb throw a lot. And I I, I got to win it. I got to win in this week. I think it's going to be uh, – they're going to put up a lot of points. I think the defense is going to be aggressive. I think that you're going to see a more aggressive style of defense that Eric Washington called when he was in Buffalo. I think we're going to see a lot more blitzes. I think all the things we want to see, you're going to start to see more. And I think the offense is going to strike very, very fast. Not going to blow them out. I think it's going to be a big game. But I think the Bears are going to win this. So I'm going to go Bears 31-17 to on Sunday. I feel confident about that. They eventually got to get a win. I think it starts this week. And if anything, they'll just have a little bit more mojo going into these final Four games after this one. Um, Dante, what you think about this game? Who you got? Uh, man, bro, I think this is one of those games where, like you said, it's the perfect time for them to get a win, you know, with the change of energy, with the change of uh, head coaching and just all of the staff and the big shakeup. Uh, but I'm still nervous, bro. I ain't going to lie to you. I, I still don't know oh, what I, to expect. I, nervous, nervous has left my body a long time. I've given this season to God. Like, yeah. I, I, I mean, nervous in the sense that, like, even though, you know, I have high expectations and I want to see them do well for the sake of having my coach now and moving forward, um, we've seen the way these last few weeks have gone. But uh, with that being said, uh, I'm going to pick the Bears to win, too. Uh, I'm going to go 27-17. Uh, I think Caleb has a big game. I know uh, this Caleb, uh, this is not Caleb. The uh, Niners defense is still a very good defense. I know Fred Warner's out there on a fracture ankle still doing this thing. Both is out. So, you know, um, less of a pass for us to worry about. But I, I agree. I think Caleb is going to have a great game. He's going to throw the ball well. And uh, I think the defense, we'll see more blitz and we'll see a lot more uh, 
movement from the linebackers because we got really good linebackers and a lot of times we just let them play in space and I mean I get that was a part of Flus's defense but I think like you said with Eric Washington um you'll see Tremaine Edmonds blitzing more you'll see him moving his linebackers around and really trying to get more pressure in there and with our cornerbacks we can uh you know we can create turnovers so um I think with that being said you'll see a a, dim- a different atmosphere a different energy and uh even though I'm nervous and I hate saying this and me saying this probably means him get the ass smacked but yeah, I'm gonna go 27 17 Bears. Mike, you yeah, close this out on the local. Round. What you got? No, nah, I'm riding with y'all. Y'all know that I only had one win for them, uh, and that was being the Seahawks game. But this is a completely winnable game. I think the Niners are, are a wounded dog, and the Bears are gonna put them down. I have this game at 28 25 Bears. Um, I think it's gonna be a little bit of a, of a little back and forth. It might be one of those. Uh, witching hour games where it gets crazy, but I actually do think that the Bears end this game with the ball on offense already with the lead, and they find a way to uh, to bring home a dub. And, you know, it's just going to be ironic, you know. Uh, Matt Eberflus never won a, ru- a Sunday road game, and then Thomas Brown's first game as the uh, interim head coach, he's going to win a road game.